Hi all, in this video, I am going to show you how to create an equivalence file for LVS run. An equivalence file is used during LVS compare to list each schematic cell and the corresponding layout cell. ICV Netran utility can create a skeletal equivalence file during netlist translation which can be used for LVS run. Netlist equivalence file is purely skeletal and you must edit the layout name entries to set the equivalence points for any instances where the schematic name and the layout name are not identical. You can invoke ICV Netran either from the command line or by calling it within a run set. To create an equivalence file using Netran utility from the command line, you need to provide the input netlist format, input netlist file, skeletal equivalence file name, output file name, and output file format. As required, you can also choose other user-specific options as part of the command line. To run this, type the following. Please note that dash equiv specifies the skeletal equivalence file name. Note that dash sp indicates input netlist in spice format. You should give dash verilog for input netlist that is in Verilog format. You can also merge Verilog and Spice file to create a top level netlist file. Also note that dash out name specifies the output netlist name and dash out type specifies the output netlist format. Execute this command line. Once the run is successful, various output files are generated. In the generated equivalence file, all equivalence cells are specified in equiv underscore options function. The equivalence file consists a list of schematic cells and its corresponding layout cells used for comparison during LVS run. Also note that the syntax of this file is in ICV PXL format, hence it follows the standard convention. Also check netran log file icv underscore netran.log for the command executed, netran flow, and the total runtime. So this is how you create an equivalence file for LVS run. Thank you.